So for those of you unaware, Kurtzpel is a recently released action RPG by KOG Games, the people behind Grand Chase, El Sword, and Hero Wars. The game has one of, if not the best, action combat system in an anime game to date. It's also one of the most beautiful anime titles on the market right now, especially one with MMO elements. I actually did a video on it a couple months ago, and that video itself garnered half a million views, and I plan on doing a new updated look next week for people interested in playing it, but its launch was not without issue. See, the game utilizes a class system called karmas. Karmas are weapon types that can be equipped that change the style of combat that you use. There's a greatsword karma, a longbow karma, a staff karma, a dual sword karma, and a gauntlet karma. One of the main issues with the game was that two karmas, the gauntlet and staff karmas that unlock the blazing fist and diabolic witch respectively were locked behind paid DLC. Paid DLC in a free to play game. I'm sure you can imagine the outrage this spawned, the sheer loathing, hatred, and disgust this provoked from players. Naturally, this caused quite the negative review bombing of the game on Steam, and they had every right to do so. This was a terrible design choice by KOG. But KOG heard players' complaints and they made a statement. Both paid karmas would be free to unlock after their next update later during the week, and they stuck to their promise. As of May 7th, KOG released both DLC karmas from their paid status, allowing any and all players to unlock them in-game as they were initially supposed to be able to, as I was able to during the beta. Each karma is locked behind a mission chain which requires you complete the missions associated with both Jin and Marion. For players that went ahead and purchased the DLC Karmas, well, I mean, you're kind of screwed as far as being reimbursed, but you will be compensated with a unique outfit nonetheless. Which... I mean, honestly, unless you're into outfits, it probably won't really do much to dissuade you from feeling betrayed, but hey, at least it's something. The costumes will supposedly be available in June when the game is set to launch in Europe. I played Kurt's Pell during its closed beta. It was a lot of fun. It was very pleasing to look at. It had some amazing customization options and had a very addictive PvP system. The game it definitely has a lot of potential, and I'm personally excited to jump back in and record next week's video on it. However, I almost chose not to in light of their paywalling. I hate when companies put things behind a paywall. I didn't like it when I saw what they did with the Karmas and I almost turned down the opportunity to do a video on it purely due to my difference of opinion with how it had been handled. However, after hearing how fast they dealt with the concerns of the player base, my opinion of the game definitely improved. I get that developers, publishers, just people in general are capable of making mistakes. Of course they are. Nobody is infallible. I don't expect them to be. Hearing that they took players' concerns into consideration and acted on them so expeditiously, though, is a very good sign. So, if the paid DLC karmas were turning you away from playing the game, then know that they are now freely accessible to everyone publicly. You can jump right in game right now and get to unlock all of the karmas currently available. I hope you guys are enjoying the game, or at the very least can begin to now that the karmas have been unlocked. I'll have a video on Kurtzpel up next week for all of you to check out if you'd still rather hear what I have to say after playing it. Anyway guys, that was just a quick update on Kurtzpel. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more goodness like this, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!